Hello, welcome back to Turtle's YouTube channel where on a weekly basis I publish videos about two of the topics that I'm passionate about. These are things I've already learned or have taught, but also things that I am in the process of learning. Those areas are expert finance and data science, in particular data science applied to the field of finance. If those are interesting, subscribe to the channel please. And if you subscribe, then you can expect content in the following four domains. First, the Financial Risk Manager Syllabus, that's called the FRM, where we already have published hundreds of videos on Part 1 FRM contents. That's this column right here. Part 1 includes Foundations of Risk, Quantitative Analysis, by which we mean Statistics, Probabilities, Econometrics, even Linear Regression. Third, Financial Markets and Products, including Derivatives, by which we mean Options, futures, forwards, and swaps, among other things. Valuation and risk models would include, for example, how do we value, how do we measure risk? A popular risk measure would be value at risk, VAR. So we have a lot of videos on VAR. Part one collectively of the FRM can be thought of as the products, tools, and markets used by a financial professional. So this would be of interest if you're either working in finance or would like to become a professional in finance, especially if you're a student of professional finance. Part one is a prerequisite and many of those concepts are used in part two of the FRM. That's the colored column here. So this is more advanced and has some of part one as a prerequisite. Risk is a quantitative field, so we do need to be comfortable with math and for example, basic calculus is used, but then we look at market risk, credit risk, operational risk, investment risk, and current issues. An example of current issues would be cybersecurity. The second of the four domains is R programming because that's my tool of choice. I don't really know Python. I have been training for R for several years. Both are open source. They are sometimes compared and contrasted. But R has a reputation as being more of a tool for statistical analysis and has a great advantage of having hundreds, thousands of packages built and made available by developers that we can pull off the shelf as needed. So I've already started an introductory playlist on R programming. Third domain is the CFA, you probably recognize it, Chartered Financial Analyst, considered the gold standard in finance. I myself do have a CFA in addition to an FRM. So we've already started. I've gotten some great help on this one. We've already started our level one series in the CFA. Fourth and finally, because I do want to share some practical knowledge, we started a playlist and a series on personal investing with an emphasis on the stock market or publicly traded equities where my anchor video there has been published and that's a review of my own personal portfolio that currently consists of 33 stocks but i hope to reduce the number of those stocks in the future so those are the four domains you can expect if you subscribe i hope you do and we'll look forward to seeing you in the channel thank you